So if you're creating content to be out on social media, out on the internet, what do you need to focus on that almost nobody focuses on? Hi, I'm Mark Bullock. I'm the co-founder of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And a couple of things that you may be focusing on is authenticity, consistency, and value. And those are the most critical points. But the middle one, consistency, can't happen unless you start building in some efficiencies into what you're doing. What am I, just, what am I talking about? So if you decide to do blog posts, you decide to do videos, you decide to do podcasts, whatever it is that you decide to do, the hardest part is getting started initially, but then the real hard part is staying with it, doing it consistently, and having it be effective and a good use of your time to get it done. I'll use podcasting as an example, specifically video interview podcasting, which is one of the services that we help provide our clients. So what we do is all the logistics around that creating that video interview podcast. So that's finding guests, that's getting them scheduled, that's doing an intake process so that you know what you're going to be discussing with, with them when you're talking. That's nailing down what are all of their social media links? What are all your social media links? What is your show going to have as far as images, both in banners and in, uh, and in headlines? What is your show going to be called? How is it going to be described? So there's a thousand details that all need to be pulled together to create a podcast like that that has traction, first of all, but secondly, is repeatable, right? So the next phase of that being consistent is that you have a repeatable process. It's gotta be documented. Well, so if I've got to do all this stuff, why would I start? Well, you're not gonna know all this stuff until you start. So start and then start documenting and making yourself notes and paying attention to what you're doing, what seems to be working, what doesn't seem to be working and focus on the things that work and the things that don't try a different way. Right? So it's just like doing videos to do video blogs, like through video socials, which is another one of our services. So that being said, what we tell people coming in is video socials is a safe place to practice and experiment. And it doesn't take long before most of those practices and experiments start to be postable and our clients get better and better and better, of course, over time with practice. And what they're doing is they're building a process. They know how to get onto the camera. They know how to join the meeting. They know what lighting they need. They know what sound they need. They know what, how their camera needs to be set up, et cetera. Then they start to learn how to best open. Then what the body and content is, how to make it compelling, how to close out and to give a, a great call to action to somebody else. These are all things that you learn by doing. But the main point that I wanted to bring into all this is that while you're doing it, learn from what you're doing and jot down and pay attention to those things that work and practice those things that work and develop yourself a process so that you can, as time goes by, it just gets easier and faster and less time to prepare and less time to work with. That's going to allow you to make it a habit to create the content that is going to gain you the level of business that you're trying to create. Hope you found this valuable. If you did, there's lots more at videosocials.net forward slash academy. There'll be a link below for that. Again, I'm Mark Bullock, the co-founder of videosocials.net. Have a great day.